Right then folks, we are cutting straight to the chase today. No silly business, no silly intros. We are on the road, we've got somewhere to be, we are going. Uh, you will notice that I'm very much by myself. Oh, the water butt's falling over. Is it closed? Is it closed? Oh no. Uh, we carry a 20 litre butt of water around with us and Emily never does the, the tap back up and it is literally just falling over. So I need to pull over pretty quickly or there's going to be 20 litres of water all over the floor. Did I see a sign for all the services? No hard shoulder, of course there's no hard shoulder. We don't have hard shoulders in the UK anymore. Well, probably in Scotland and Wales and stuff, but we certainly don't, I don't even think they've got motorways in Wales, you know? They've got motorway in Wales? Isn't there like one motorway in Wales? Services, 23 miles. 23 miles. Well, in 23 miles, 20 litres of water's out of that before, but so. Uh, so we have a small problem, the 12 volt from the vehicle doesn't charge my phone for some reason, so I have a workaround, don't panic. On the plus side though, I think it's crisis averted with the water butt. See, this is the problem, Emily leaves this tap open and if that had fallen, ah, we would have been swimming in the van. Anyway. Been stuck in traffic, obviously getting out of Kent, always a nightmare. We need to get back on the road. Let's go. I was on a mission, I was on a plane. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is my transmission, I know I sound insane. Please just listen. Hold on, dinner's done. Two seconds, two seconds. Oh, she's a screamer! <laughs> Come on, you all saw this coming, right? Uh, don't panic all you nutrition folks there is going to be some far healthier eating in the rest of this vlog i've bought some decent food um i am on a bit of a health kick actually but it's been a very long day it's been a very long drive and i ain't well i don't mind cooking i've told you before i ain't washing up so page one of lose no pan meals it was um but i'm gonna go and check out the parking restrictions because i think this place should always be closed but we'll have a proper look um i'll show you a bit of the park up and then it's gonna be an early night for me i reckon so the van's behind me there don't know if you can see it and it's basically just a bog standard car park in amongst the trees all right let's go and read this sign so the barrier closes at half four september to march and 6 30 april to august exit before site closure any cars remaining in the car park will be locked on site until 7 30 a.m well i'm all right with that to be fair but the time is 19:45, so the car park should have shut ages ago and you can see the barrier quite clearly open anyway i'm parked just around this corner it goes round and then in and that's where i am and then right here you smack bang on the water. And the local youths have started to turn up. Now I know a lot of people whinge about youths and that, but the way I see it, they know the area. They're just looking for what I'm looking for, basically somewhere where they can chill out, do their thing and be left alone. So if they come here, then I'm assuming I'm probably gonna get left alone. And let's be honest, they're not interested in me. They've got far better things to be doing at their age. There was one just there on the bench. I don't know if she heard what I'm saying. She won't care. Uh, so I've got to admit, I'm pretty impressed from Birmingham for this little park up. Uh, whether I get to stay here all night, I don't know. Um, but the reason I've come to Birmingham, I hear you ask, why have you come to Birmingham if you're going to the Cotswolds? Uh, is because I went to look at some added security for the van. So hopefully 
uh, that's going to come off and be pretty decent but that's a story for a whole other video um i am getting absolutely swamped by mosquitoes i'm absolutely shattered i'm probably going to end it there for tonight nope i've had to move they're eating me alive so i'm going to head back to the van and i'll probably to be honest i'll probably pick you up when we get to the cotswolds because you've seen what there is to see here lovely bit of water a lovely park up but yeah i'll see you in the cotswolds Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let me figure out where the road goes Right then folks, we are not in the Cotswolds as promised. We are actually only just south of Worcester and just outside the Malvern Hills. I've made a rookie mistake, uh, but I'll explain that in a minute because it's actually rather late in the day now. I'm rather hungry, it's incredibly hot and I'm gonna make some much needed dinner. And this one, the nutrients police, oh, you're gonna love this one. Okay, so contrary to popular belief and probably the way I portray it, I actually do prefer healthy food. Now, the nutrients please, you are gonna love this. I've got pepper, lettuce, cucumber, radish, tomato, beetroot, a little bit of cheese, but you need a little bit of fat in there, I think. So yeah, and on a hot day like this, I absolutely love a salad. So I'm gonna eat this, and then once I've done that, I'll show you guys at Weber Park, because it's not bad. Right then, folks, how about this for a spot? Uh, so the van, I will show you the park up properly in a minute, but the van is literally, I don't know, 20 yards that way. What you saw on camera me walk is literally what I had to do to get here. So pretty cool spot. Obviously it's got its downside. They are renovating the car park, so it's a bit like a building site, but you can't grumble at this, not in the UK. I've got to say the Midlands is doing itself proud. So I've not really shown you much so far. Uh, just me basically driving up and finding a couple of park ups. And I nearly, I've just been editing the first bit of this vlog and I've got to be honest I nearly sacked the whole thing off because I found it quite I don't know boring it's just you know me driving somewhere parking somewhere driving someone else parking somewhere else but the truth is in between all of that um I was not aware of how much admin there is when you have a YouTube channel that's doing okay so yeah I've taken care of all of that then obviously the editing I've just done Emily and I's uh, we went on a, a date night did a bit of stealth camping at a very posh supermarket. If you haven't seen it, go and check it out because it was a fun one to do. But the amount of time I spend driving and editing and admin and all the other things, there's not much left in between to film at the minute. So yeah, I did nearly sack it off because I thought it was quite boring. And then the rookie mistake I was talking about earlier, I got stuck in traffic. Now I stupidly, I really stupidly left Birmingham just after lunchtime on a Friday when there's a heat wave coming. So I should have known better. And to be honest, since my life's changed, I don't work a nine to five anymore. But when I worked a nine to five, literally, like you was always thinking about, well, I need to leave then because of traffic and it's a bank holiday then and the kids are off then and the M25 is bad at this time, so we're best to go this time. But I don't even think about that anymore because I'm used to just being able to go when it suits me, not around a, a nine to five job. So yeah, I got stuck in traffic in extreme heat, which made my day even longer, put me in a right bad mood. I've been overheating all day, which is another reason why I feel nothing. But yeah, I don't want you to think I'm whinging about all the stuff I have to do for, for, for this channel because my point is, so rambling again, my point is that when I was sat in that traffic, I had the ump because I had to do this stuff and then I got in that traffic and I was like, do you know what? 
I am so happy that I don't have to live like this anymore. And all the admin and all the other stuff that I'd been like moaning in my head about earlier, that it just went away. I was like, Do you know what? Any day of the week, I'd rather be doing this. So, so yeah, it sounds like a rant, but it's actually a positive. Uh, so hopefully that's come across. And then you find a spot like this where you park right on the river. Like I say, the van's there, the river's here. I'm sat here. Yes, there are mosquitoes, but I've sprayed myself up. So my chest is in a bad way, but hopefully I won't get bitten. Uh, this year, I don't know what's going on in the UK this year, but there is hundreds of thousands of the little buggers. So, so yeah, but anyway, I don't know if this vlog will see the light of day because it's a lot of waffle. Emily moans at me when there's too much waffle, um, but I might put it out there because another reason I was getting the ump, you're like, oh, I should be traveling, seeing all these great things and I'm not doing that, I'm doing this instead. And the truth is, if you're gonna live the van life, even without a channel, I think if you're gonna live the van life, there's a certain amount of stuff that is just driving, finding somewhere to empty the toilet, filling up the water, all those little things. And then especially in the UK with the traffic, it's not gonna be always gonna be easy. So maybe I will put this vlog out so that you see like the, the whole truth, the whole side of it, especially for though, because I know some of you follow just because you're interested in like the YouTuber side of it. So yeah, maybe I'll put it out so you see that it's not all, um, what is it sunshine and rainbows it's not all sunshine and rainbows however it may not all be sunshine and rainbows but it is a darn sight better than any for any job any kind of lifestyle we've ever had before and emily and i have to keep saying to each other do you know what we look at each other and say we need to make the most of this because we don't know how long it's going to last so so yeah that's my very in-depth thoughts for the evening i think the little bastards are still getting me oh this one jesus christ oh it's a little signet I don't know if you if you see those guys coming, you probably saw, oh, saw them before I did. I know not to anger a swan with a baby. Let me try and film them for you just in case you didn't see. There they are. And I think that probably just epitomises everything I was trying to say in a single moment when something like that happens. So yeah, on that note guys, I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna take a day off and then I'm gonna head into the Cotswold. So that hopefully, hopefully is where I see you next. then it's at this point in the video that awkward voiceover Lou is about to take over I bloody hate doing these but it's my own fault really because I didn't film too much over these next few days so I actually never made it to the Cotswolds you can probably tell this by now by the footage that you're seeing on screen that I found myself surrounded by vans in fact vans full of other creators I'd found myself at an event called Camp Creator organized by Geeky Phil and the Roman Radfords now you may remember the Radfords from when we had a good old chat over on their channel if not here's a shot of Steve diving into the river and this is Lindsay, by far the better half. Anyway, this event was probably just what I needed to be fair. It was so much fun and I met some really cool people, like Neil from the Urban Explorer, for example. Here he is trying to uh, land on an inflatable chair in the river. <laughs> and here he is trying again. And again. <laughs> and you probably get the picture. Uh, I can't mention everyone that I met there because there was just so, so many cool people and this video would get extremely long if I mention them all. But myself and a few stragglers did extend the party and took a drive into the Y Valley, finding a pretty cool spot further down the same river. We spent a bit of time here having a good old chat and meeting this guy who inflates his own trousers and uses them as a float. Mental, right? It was such a nice spot and being by the river in the heat that we was experiencing that day was much, much needed. Um, I did pop the drone up as you can probably tell and you can see it's just settled down in the valley surrounded by the Forest of Dean and if you ever get the chance to come to the Y Valley 
then I hugely recommend that you do because it is such an underrated beautiful part of the UK. As you can probably tell by this little walk that we took where we found um, an amazing viewpoint that just overlooks the whole valley. <laughs> Look at the bloody view! This isn't England, it's not Thailand. Oh, no, this is England. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. Will. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. You can do your tour and destination. <laughs> <laughs> a bit more chat, time for a few selfies, obviously. Um, we wouldn't be proper vloggers, YouTubers, whatever you want to call us, without the odd selfie or two. Um, but by this point, to be honest, we was absolutely shattered. So we found what can only be described as an insane park up, considering we needed to accommodate four vans. Luckily for me, the boys were good enough to do all the cooking. Uh, they rustled up a wheel special for heaters because as you all know, if I was left to my own devices, pot noodle was definitely on the cards. Anyway, after a bit more chat and a really chilled night overlooking the valley, we were done for the night. And that pretty much brings us up to date. Right then folks, now we're all up to date, I think I'd best show you who I'm with. So over here we've got Will. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereabouts is Will? So if you don't know Will, channel Will's whereabouts. Cracking van build. No, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> It's basic, isn't it? So as you can see, Will's in the early stages, but it is uh, the same shape as ours, although it's the slightly shorter one. So if you do like a build series, Will's is gonna be insane. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna be insane. I'm gonna get you down to come and help me with it. It will be. Yeah, so Hopefully. we'll give you a hand. Give you a hand. But Will's channel, he does a lot of stealth camping. Like I say, you've got the build stuff on there. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You copied me, didn't you? I copied. I've, this is well. <laughs> him and Darren, stealth camping. Cheers, yeah. guys, because you sorted me right no out through lockdown. You're welcome. <laughs> but yeah, wicked channel. Go and check it out. He's a cheeky chap. Do you want to see the van? Do you want yeah. me to show you? Come on. We'll have a bit of a look. Let's see the basic stuff. I'll show you my favourite features, right? The IKEA bed. Unbelievable scenes. Easy to do. This is the favourite feature. Look at this. Just a couple of hooks on the side here. For my keys. Hold on. This key. Slot on there. Happy days. Easy. Magnetised. Like this. And then I made this from an easy, cheap IKEA curtain. Magnets on the end. Not blackout so people can see me dogging inside. <laughs> but everything works. Simple. And then for power, I've just got the jackery at the moment. Yeah. Top notch choice yeah. on the jackery. I got a lot of inspiration from your van, especially. I love the colours, the palette and the way that there's so much space, so I'm probably gonna copy you, to be fair. Yeah, but you're gonna go two seats either side, yeah. like with a pull-out table. Here. One bench there, probably an L-shaped kitchen here. Keep it simple and where you're standing now, keep all of that free and open, and then happy days. Oh, ideal, so yeah, I was like with everyone else, I'll stick the channel link in the description, yeah. check him out, he's a top-notch lad, he is nah, a lad. You're a legend, <laughs> I've loved meeting all you guys, it's yeah. been great fun, Cracking and Emily. Me. I want to meet you next time, so you better turn up. <laughs> Cheers, yeah, Will. No worries. So behind me here, our second special guest, we've got Charlie and Lauren. So we'll have a quick look at their van. It is only a transit, but you know, they got away with what they got. <laughs> <laughs> this is us, there ain't no to show you. Yeah. Little cream baby. Pull out bed though, let me show you. This is like our master bed that we show everyone. Quick spin. And then now, oh, extends, because I can't quite fit in. Oh, sideways. okay. So then this doubles up, we've got a big bit of foam in the boot and it pulls out into a big double bed so we can, can sleep comfortably in that. But you're used to living in small spaces, right? Because you've got a narrow boat? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we live on a narrow boat full time. Uh -huh. wasn't, wasn't the so... original plan, but we're on there full time. Bought a little narrow boat when we came back from traveling. Covid hit. Used to the port potty life and all that because we've yeah. got a port potty on the narrow boat. Yeah, love anything alternative. So yeah. Definitely. Oh, ideal. And these guys, they got a little bit of a following on Instagram, 300k or something like that, it? but they've yeah. dipped their toe in on YouTube and they're liking it and the channel's yeah. wicked. So, and I think Charlie competes with me on cheesy grin factor. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a battle of the teeth. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, as, as with the others, I'll stick their link in the description, but check them out. Cause I think they like a bit of witty banter. So if you like us, you're probably going to like these. Not quite as much, but you know, <laughs> but yeah, check them out. So yeah, cheers guys, cracking van as well. Thank you very much. Thank you. Fuck off. And yeah. that's how we vlog, folks. <laughs> <laughs> and my final guest, you've seen her before. We've got a solo knobber with her this time. Uh, she looks a bit different because she is in her own special van. So yeah, she's got her own. So this is Tash from Life Beyond Brick. She would have seen him in a Canterbury video with us. 
But yeah, how are you finding solo van life? <clears throat> oh, I absolutely love it. Look at me in my little space. I know, suits you. Yeah, it does, I think, doesn't it? Yeah, so yeah. she's joined the dub club, so a bit a bit dodgy, but we'll let her off because we know her. Um, but, and you've called it what? What's the van's name? Brucey. Yeah, so it's right, Brucey bonus. Brucey. But it's actually because they call me Hulk Smash. So it's like Bruce Banner. I mean, Bruce Banner, so yeah. Because yeah, she goes. This is Brucey. Because she goes green when she gets angry. But yeah, as with the others, again, I'll stick the channel link in the description. Go check her out. Well, her and John are other half, but you do a bit of both, don't you? A bit do. like us, you do a bit of solo and then a bit of couples, so. Absolutely, I like to have my fingers in all the pies. That's it, so do I. <laughs> <laughs> So it is safe to say that was not the week I had planned at all. Um, and it didn't stop there actually, I spent another night at that spot and I met a couple who I'd also met at the Create a Meetup thing um, called Courts and Meeks. And their van is very eye-catching as you will see, it's bright orange, lovely lovely couple, also fellow YouTubers and Instagrammers. Um, and everything in their van matches the colour, they are the orange couple. All the way down to their lovely dog Sally who is also a shade of orange. But you go in their van, I mean it's eye catching on the outside, but you go inside their van and it is stunning. That framing around the windows is insane. And like I said, everything in there is colour matched, the orange stuff, love the little orange details, really, really nice van and really, really nice couple as well. So as with all the others, I'll stick their channel link in the description. I know there's going to be a lot of links, but I, they're all really, really nice people and I wouldn't put their channels in the description if I didn't think that. Big shout again to Steve and Lindsay from the Radfords, as well as Geeky Phil for organising the whole thing. There wasn't a single person there that I spoke to that I didn't like, so and to go to a meet up with no dramas, with all them YouTubers, weirdos, egos in a field, whatever you want to say, to have no issues at all was amazing and it was a cracking meet up. And I've got to be honest, I was a bit dubious, I really wasn't going to go, as I think I said at the beginning of this video, I was planning to go to the Cotswolds, but yeah, brilliant, brilliant meet up, so glad I went and it was definitely, definitely worth it. And a huge shout out to everyone, I can't put everybody's channel uh, in the video, because I didn't feel much, I don't have footage of these people anyway, but so many people, so if I haven't mentioned you all, I mean there were 60 vans there, so thanks to everyone that I met there, brilliant group of people and I got to have some chats with people that have been following the channel for a while who I've never met before or never got the chance to talk to properly for, before so yeah really really nice to do that but I've got to admit I am absolutely done in I cannot keep up with these youngsters I've got to be honest and um, yeah so shattered so I am going to try and make my way into the Cotswolds uh, I've only got a couple of nights so might do a little bit up there before making my way home to Emily who I've missed terribly because she is such a such a more social butterfly than I am, so I would normally quip in with a quick sarky comment and then she does the main bulk of the talking, so, although believe it or not, because I'm rambling now, I do know that, but yeah, she she was sorely missed by not only people there, but especially by me, but she is at home with AJ, who's having his hydrotherapy, um, those of you who have asked, he's doing really, really well, he's getting there, we've still got like another six weeks of this, so um, I'll put a little clip in now, I think we've got a little shot of him having his hydrotherapy, so bless him, yeah, he's getting on with it and he's doing well. And he will be back in the video soon, as will Emily, because we have a very exciting parcel at home. Uh, so when I get back, we're going to open that together. And I think that's about it, you know. I think that's about it. So like I say, all the channel links in the description. If you want to go and check them out, please do. Give them a comment from us. Let them know where you've come from. It's always nice to build that community vibe. And also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, because, well, like I said, 20k. That's it. Closing subscriptions. No more room at the inn. Now, I'm only joking. If you found this video interesting in any way, yeah, consider subscribing because it does, uh, it's the only way really to help the channel for us at the minute. So, thumbs up, ding the bell, all the, all the, all the jazz. Um, if you don't do it, I'll never know, so it doesn't really matter. But it is very much appreciated and I will see you guys, maybe with a little bit of footage from the Cotswolds, on the next one. Life is a winding road no telling where it goes